if p is directly proportional to the square root of s, and we're given a couple points for s and p, we want to write an equation for this direct proportionality so that we can plug in s and find the new p. So p is directly proportional to the square root of s. p is directly proportional to the square root of s. We want to find that constant of proportionality by plugging in that first point we're given. p is 12 when s is 16. So let's replace those in here. p is 12 when s is 16. Well, what is the square root of 16? The square root of 16 is 4. Let's divide both sides by that 4 then. And k, the constant of proportionality, is going to be 12 divided by 4, which is 3. So our equation is really going to be p equals 3 square root of s. This will tell us any value of p, knowing each value of s. And we're asked to find p when s is 81. So p is going to be 3 times the square root of 81, plugging in that s value. What's the square root of 81? It's 9. Or you can plug right into your calculator. 3 square root of 81 is 3 times 9. You get p is 27.